Hi there, it's Mr. Fred, and this is gonna be a quick overview of how you can remote into another PC without buying extra software, making subscriptions to these remote connection type tools, which are also really great, and they do have a, a specific purpose, but this is a simple way that you can reach out and help your students, or if you're a student, you can reach back out to a teacher that might not know about this. Boy, how cool would that be if you could teach a teacher something? Let's check it out. Okay, here's the idea. We wanna be able to get from one computer to the other remotely, which means if I'm at my home and I wanna remote connect to someone else on another network, on a separate location, I could do that with this simple tool. Now, once I connect, I can help them solve problems or they could show me where they're struggling with trying to figure something out. First thing you wanna do is just go down to your search and Windows and then type quick assist, which will find the installation and then the window will pop up with the options to either get assistance or give assistance. What we're gonna see here now on the left side is my PC where I'm gonna give assistance and it's gonna prompt uh, a code to appear and that code will be provided to the person who needs the assistance. So I'll copy my code, which is a security code, and then I'll have to call someone or text them the code that they're gonna then put into their get assistance window. Once they put that in there, you're gonna see these two PCs connect. Once again, here's mine on the left. I'm gonna take full control, and then the remote computer on another network is on the left, or excuse me, the right there, and I'm gonna now connect where I'm gonna be able to see their screen. So what's happening is a little handshaking going on here and we're gonna to start to see this connection. Now, the other user has to allow it. Once they click allow, what you're gonna see now is what the screens would look like. Of course, I'm gonna overlay what my screen looks like and the remote screen looks like. So it's gonna look a little odd here for just a second, but the window I'm moving around is, this is my remote PC, but this other one here is my quick assist. So this is my home PC or my PC, and now I could see their desktop. And in this view here, I can then go into their navigation menu. I can open up a program that I wanna pick. And then once I open up that program, I now can help them solve the problem that they're doing. Or I can click on things and show them via the mouse. So in this example here, I open up sticky notes and the sticky note appears here behind my window, which is kind of a little tricky to see. So let me move a few things around. But I could actually see the remote PC in my window, and I can then begin to control it. So I'll move this around here, and you can see the, quick, the sticky note appears. And I'll type something real short and sweet on the note, and you'll see it also appear on the remote PC. So you can do things like that. You could do it with Word or Excel or some kind of programming tool or a coding tool, right? But more importantly, you could also you access some of the uh, more important things here. You can annotate or draw. You could make the screen larger. You can even open up a chat window that sends commands to them. So you don't have to use sticky notes or anything like that, but you could send a message to them and then they could see what you're saying to them. So maybe you don't have your cell phones on or maybe you, um, you, you lost connection or, or whatever, but you could even just send text messages or maybe you're in a situation where you can't necessarily talk. But having this remote access now allows you to help them. You can even open up the task manager on their computer. So if they're running into issues where things are slowing down, you could open up the task manager and instead of walking them through it and trying to explain it, you can go in and do it yourself. And that's a really helpful feature when you're trying to remote assist somebody because sometimes this is a little overwhelming to the other people. But if you're doing programming or working with software, also you can help them out. So try using Quick Assist next time you have to help somebody out. It's a really great tool. And don't forget while you're here, like, share, and subscribe to the Gimme Coding channel to keep on learning.